John, my friend, yes. happy live show. Happy live show to you, Happy too. live show. We haven't done a live show. We haven't done a live show with a live audience in over two years, right? In here, in here. We did them upstairs, but with a live audience, we oh, haven't yeah. done it. Thank you all for being here this evening. Woo! Now, John, I got right here. Coming up in just a minute, we have Senator Bernie Sanders to give his yeah. reaction tonight's yeah, State of the Union speech. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Always a privilege. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, if you watch this show, you know I spend most of my time right over there combing through the day's biggest news and selecting for you the finest, most topical Indian rosewood, spruce, and mahogany stories. I then hand shape and combine them with an abalone multi-stripe back inlay and four shifted scalp braces, antique white binding, and a high-performance neck with a hexagon fingerboard, and finally lay in a tortoise pattern pearl pick guard and a compensated bone saddle to craft for you the exquisite Martin D45 dreadnought acoustic guitar that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I snap awake in a rusty coffin freezer behind an abandoned Dairy Queen outside of Galveston. Then I nail a two-by-four to a cedar urn I stole from a funeral parlor, string on some brake cables I ripped out of a cop car, then cut eye holes in a Goodwill bag for a mask, hit a whippet, and terrorize the locals on the Texas chainsaw banjo of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile, baby... It knows all, it sees all. Meanwhile... Peloton owners can now play a video game while they work out. Even more exciting, they can also not do that. <laughs> the new feature is called Lane Break, and it turns your Peloton screen into an interactive video game where riders pedal along a floating virtual track, encountering prompts and challenges along the way. In other words, think Mario Kart meets Peloton. <laughs> All right, everybody, final push, final push. Look out for the green shells, everybody. Life is going to throw a lot of banana peels your way, so what do we do? Say it with me. Turn fun things into work. Yay! <laughs> Meanwhile, a new prison in Zurich received hundreds of applications for volunteers to live like a prisoner in order to test the new jail before the facility accepts <laughs> its first inmates. So they're trying to make the experience as real as possible. But because they're not real prisoners, strip searches upon entry will be optional. <laughs> Might want to watch out for whoever opts into that. Yes, uh, I'll have the strip search officer uh, with extra cavity. <laughs> Meanwhile, scientists have solved the 30,000-year-old Venus statue mystery having finally discovered her origins near Lake Garda in northern Italy. If you didn't know it, the Venus of Willendorf is one of the oldest and finest examples of humans discovering new art or technology and immediately using it for porn. <laughs> By the way, and this is true, you'll notice down there, my network made us blur what one assumes are genitals on a 30,000-year-old fertility sculpture. That's because it is so important that CBS viewers not be upset by abstract paleolithic nudity after a relaxing evening of murdered sex workers on CSI Vegas. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile, in San Diego, authorities seized nearly $3 million worth of meth in an onion shipment in which the meth was shaped into small globes designed to look like onions. Not sure if your onions at home are meth or not, here's how to tell. If it makes you cry because of its fumes, it's an onion. If it makes you cry because you sold your daughter's bike to a man with no teeth named Skeeter, <laughs> could be meth. <laughs> Meanwhile, Pepsi is introducing a brand new soda flavor called Nitro Pepsi a first-of-its-kind nitrogen-infused cola that has a creamier and smoother taste compared to traditional carbonated sodas. Or as I will call it, are you sure you don't have Coke? <laughs> Can you check? Can you...? <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> Nitro! <laughs> Meanwhile, this footage went viral over the weekend, and keep in mind, everyone is okay. 
But a tractor trailer full of mail drove off a Massachusetts turnpike ramp into the Charles River. Again, the driver is fine, which is incredible. Not because he survived the crash, but because he survived being in the Charles River. <laughs> At this point, it's 90% cigarette butts and Red Sox fan vomit. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Iran, a man was hospitalized after shoving a double-A battery into his penis. Worse, he put it in backwards so his penis wouldn't even start. <laughs> we'll be right back with Senator Bernie Sanders.